Hello and welcome everyone to the video tutorial of Easy Supply Chain Solutions. In the last video, we learned how do we use the function VLOOKUP to extract values from the database like net sales, average receivables, average payables for the financial dashboard in Easy Supply Chain Solutions. In this video, we are going to learn how do you, we make dynamic graphs based on the drop-down menu available. Let's learn this using a simple example. Here, there are three tables for the product-wise sales, region-wise sales and month-wise sales for a company. I've made different graphs for the three tables. These graphs can be easily created by selecting the table and in inserts we have options for different graphs. So I've made a column chart for product wise sales, a bar chart for region wise sales and a line chart for month wise sales. So in this way I've made these three graphs for three types of sales and I've shrink them to fit them into one single cell and then I have positioned them in three different cells one below the other. After this I have written down the names for the particular graphs alongside it. After doing this select the particular cell which contains the graph for product wise sales. Go to this place this is called the name box and write the name product wise sales which I have already written. For you all it will be showing H12 in this box. Correct. You have to change it to product wise sales. Similarly for the other two graphs select the cell and write the name accordingly. For example for the graph of region wise sales we see the name region wise and for the graph of month wise sales we see the name month wise. After doing this we need to we have to create a data validation as we learned in the last video. We go to data data validation list and our list this time is, is these three types of graphs and we press OK. We change the color to say yellow and we get the list of three types of graphs. Now we want to show or display the graph according to the name displayed here. For this we have to go to formulas name manager and new. Here we'll be writing chart to be displayed. So here we have specified the cell from which the name of the chart has to be extracted which is C16 and before this we include a function called indirect which was nothing but it will give the corresponding graph for the name displayed here. We write this and press OK. So we see here that in the name manager we have included the chart to be displayed name along with the other options and we close this. After this we copy any one chart right click copy we come to a new cell, right click and we paste it as a picture under the paste options. So we see here that a picture of the chart has been displayed. After this we select the chart, the picture chart that we have just created, go to the formula bar and write equal to chart to be displayed, press tab and enter. As we do this, we see that the chart is changed according to the 
name that we selected here that is if we select region wise the chart displayed here will be the region wise sales chart that we have drawn here similarly for month wise it will display the month wise chart that we have displayed here so this chart dynamically change changes based on the option that we select in the drop down list so in this way we make a dynamic chart based on the drop down list that we create and this is a very helpful function when we have huge databases and various types of charts that we have drawn and we need to scale up and scale down the charts without losing its sensitivity or clarity so this is how we make the dashboard for financial module in easy supply chain solutions hope you like the video and keep learning keep watching thank you